Hi, it's Cheryl. Welcome to Homeward Studio. Spring is just around the corner and I can feel it in my bones. So I have three Easter or spring DIYs to share with you today. And so let's go craft. Here's the first piece. And this is an egg wreath. I have this egg form from the Dollar Tree and I have this really pretty ribbon from the Dollar Tree and it is wired and I'm just going to wrap this around the egg. So I'm going to start off and uh, glue it on the front but I'm going to make sure it has a little piece that you see folded over there that I can glue it onto the wire in the back. And I have this video kind of fast, but I took this really, really slow. So there are no creases or wrinkles in it. It laid very flat on this wreath form. And it took me, I don't know how long, probably 15 minutes to do, but um, I would wrap it twice and then I would hot glue it and then I would hot glue the ribbon onto itself also, just to ensure that um, you know, there's no uh, unraveling of this and then it's glued on everywhere. And if you pull it tight and you wrap it on an angle, um, there should be no problems with uh, wrinkling or creases. And then of course I want to end this in the back. So I will just wrap it around one extra time just to make sure that the where I cut the ribbon is in the back of the frame. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in these purple lilies from the Dollar Tree. And I think I have three sets of them. Now I'm cutting them off with wire clippers and I'm cutting them fairly long. Um, you can always trim them down, but you can't always replace it if you cut it too short. Um, I am trimming them long because I am going to uh, zip tie them together on the bottom of the egg. This is kind of hard to do to keep all these together. They kept twisting in my hand, but um, it took a little while, a little patience, but I got it done. And so what I did here with the zip tie is I didn't tie it super tight so I could actually add some stems in there because it, as you can see, they kept turning on me. And I wanted to get as many stems in the zip tie as possible too. If you don't pull it tight until you're ready to, you can turn them around, turn them and twist them in there too. So I put uh, six of them in, three on each side. And then I didn't take a zip tie. I don't know why I took a pipe cleaner, probably because I had to walk in the other room to get another zip tie and I had a pipe cleaner with me. So I just use that, call it lazy, I don't know. So these extra stems I cut shorter and I'm kind of just putting some glue on them. Actually, I'm poking them in there to see how I like it. And then I just placed a couple more up on the side because I thought it was too bunchy at the bottom. 
and now I'm going to put some other picks. This is just called Greenery, um, and it's from the Dollar Tree, but they're purple and green. It almost looks like, um, uh, what do you call it, lamb's ear on the end of these. So I kind of pulled a little bit of those off, and then I'm kind of just scattering them everywhere. So you have the big lily flowers, and then you have these thin, tall ones, and the purples match, and then you have this fuzzy green leaf, which is just so pretty together. And I'm just poking a couple here and there. I still thought it was missing something, so I have these other purple flowers. Um, those, they were on sale, but the regular price was $3.99. I got them at Michael's. I don't know what they're called, but I just, um, they're kind of little short and bushy, little teeny purple flowers, and I just picked off a bunch of them, and I'm just kind of placing them here and there wherever I see a hole. And now I was going to put Easter eggs on here, but I thought that it would just be too big, too much. And I had a bunch of these stems from the Dollar Tree. Um, I got them last year and I've never used them, so I decided this is perfect. So I'm kind of matching the ribbon. There's like pink and blue and white and purple on the ribbon and yellow. Um, I didn't want to use all those colors, but I thought the purple, the white, and the blue looked really pretty together and it just brought all of the purple together and now I have some more purple <laughs> I have this mesh from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to take it and loop it over on itself so there's two puffs on each side it's just kind of like a figure eight and I'm sorry it's a little out of screen but it was kind of hard to work with as you know the mesh sticks together so there's no tails or anything I just made two loops on both sides and then I have this pink mesh and I'm doing the same thing just two loops on each side and then I do have tails though and then I have a um, not a zip tie a pipe cleaner or a chenille stick and I'm just tying that and I'm going to tie it right on to the top of the egg. And now I'm kind of taking these tails and I'm kind of ruching them down the side of the egg. Or down the side of the ribbon and just hot glue it a couple times there. And we are done and this is a close-up of what it looks like I really like this piece a lot I just thought it was kind of a little bit different a little bit unique and it was so easy to make and all of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree except those little purple flowers but I'm sure you can find small purple flowers at the Dollar Tree that's just what I had on hand and here's a better picture of it on my wall and here is the second wreath form we are going to make and I have this bunny frame from the Dollar Tree and the car cloth from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut a square. Make sure that this is a little bit bigger than the circle part of the bunny because we're going to glue it on the front. Actually, we're, we're gonna put it on the front, but we're gonna glue it on the back. I'm pulling the four corners in and just gluing it down. And then after I do that, then I pull the sides in and glue them. So you wanna make sure there's probably a half of an inch maybe. And then you can always cut off the excess. I didn't, it doesn't matter. Nobody's gonna see it except for me. Actually, I might give it to my daughter. And hey, if you are a subscriber, this is where I stop and take a moment and thank you because I really appreciate you. You guys are amazing. And if you are not a subscriber, welcome to my channel, Homerich Studio. 
and consider subscribing because first it really helps me out a ton and I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers soon it's totally free and if you like budget-friendly decor thrift flips decorating etc etc shopping this is what I do and this is what I love to do and all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every time I post a new video okay so now that we have the cloth on the front of the bunny but we glued it on the back now I'm going to do the same thing to the ears and the reason that I'm doing this to the ears is because I'm gonna put flowers on them and I had to they had to stick to something so I already had this cloth and I thought I'll just put this on there instead of trying to glue it onto metal because you know it's the glue doesn't really stick to the metal real well I mean it does to a certain extent but it's easier to pull off and that's why I kind of wrap the material around onto itself too and so I'm just kind of doing the same thing just wrapping the material around and gluing it as I go on and I did it to both of the ears And then if you have extra material, like I said, just go ahead and cut it off. And that's what I do at the top of the ear there and just roll it over. And now that's what it looks like and you could do many many different things but this is my version of making a little bunny um, I'm just taking these flowers sorry I don't know what they're called they're like a peach color and I clipped them off oh they're from the Dollar Tree too and I clipped them off and uh, just outlined both of the ears with them and by the way when you cut these they're very messy it, even if you don't cut them they're just messy <laughs> they're messy flowers and so is the car cloth when you cut it just so you know <laughs> little fuzzes everywhere okay so now that I glued these around the ears and I thought this was really cute I tried not to hide them with the flowers but I had a ton of these peach color roses in my stash and I had a ton of peach color everything so I decided this was a color I was going to use. Um, you could use smaller flowers and that would be really pretty too. But I just put, I don't remember how many I had, probably six maybe. No, not six, probably four, four bunches. And then some of the leaves that kind of hid that little outline flower there, I kind of clipped those off so you could see it better. So I did that to both ears and now I'm going to paint the feet and I always tell you guys always do your painting first so when you're doing everything else the paints drying <laughs> but I didn't listen to myself so now I'm painting um, I put the little spackling in the hole of the bunny's feet and these are from the Dollar Tree too. the feet and I'm taking this um, white chalk paint and I painted just the front and the sides of the bunny's feet, the whole entire thing. And that rose gold is $3 from the Dollar Tree Plus, and it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I had to put about three coats on because it's really thin. And that is a rose gold metallic from the Dollar Tree Plus. Now I have that big fur ball for his butt, and I'm gluing the two feet on there. And I still felt like it needed something more. And my husband said, why don't you put like a little bunny crack in there? <laughs> I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> Just couldn't do that. But we laughed about it. <laughs> and uh, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put wrap uh, some jute around the top so it kind of looks like it's got a collar on and that it's the back of the bunny. And I, I just really like this too. I love the peach color. I think it's just so pretty. And this rose gold paint is really gorgeous. If you have a chance to pick some up, um, it's, it's really, really nice. And that's what it looks like on my wall. And here's the third and final project. It's a little bunny cloche. 
And here's some things you're gonna need. I have this cloche and it's from Target Dollar Spot. I got it last year, it was $5. They do have cloches at the Dollar Tree and you can just glue um, a candlestick onto the bottom if you want. Um, I have the wood bunny from the Dollar Tree. I have these wooden eggs and carrots, all from the Dollar Tree. I have some Spanish moss. And I have some ribbon. I didn't use that, but I'm showing you, you can use that from the Dollar Tree. I have this in my stash, and this is, I think, from Timu. Um, now I have paint. I have that green acrylic from the Dollar Tree. I have this Artist Loft in burnt, burnt Umber, which my daughter gave me. That's why I'm using it, or I normally would not use Artist Loft acrylic for something like this. I have the orange from the Dollar Tree, um, and then the Rich Art acrylic from the Dollar Tree is aqua and pink, and then the Apple Barrel is from Walmart in sky blue, and the Folk Art is from Hobby Lobby, and that's Daybreak, and then I have Plaster. And then I have this, we call it puffy paint a lot. It's actually 3D fabric paint and it is shiny. I don't know if you can get it just matte, but uh, I just got that from the Dollar Tree. And I have some flowers here. I picked a bunch of them. I didn't use them all, I just picked a bunch. These little cute little mushrooms are from the Dollar Tree. They come in different colors. And I have a little bunny tail you don't have one of those you can use a cotton ball and I have a, a little jute bowl that I made earlier now I'm just oh and I have those cubes too you can use um, tumbling what are they tumbling tower blocks or cubes so anyway I took the bunny and I um, filled in the ear with a speckling from the Dollar Tree and then now I'm painting my pieces so the carrots are the orange acrylic it took like three coats and then those little square blocks i put one coat of the burnt umber acrylic on them and then i'm painting the eggs in uh the all different colors one purple one green one blue and one pink and then the bunny i'm painting him in a white color now I have that puffy paint for the top of the carrot. Um, now this takes hours to dry because you know it's thick. So I let mine actually dry overnight. And now I am decorating the eggs with the white puffy paint. And I'm just doodling little designs, polka dots here and there. Nothing fabulous, just, <laughs> I don't know. And that box lid works really well with a piece of um, the, um, not saran wrap, the wax paper in it. it I, I use this box lid for everything, spray painting and everything. Okay, so now we're gonna take the bottom of the cloche and we are gonna wrap some ribbon, this fringed ribbon around. And if you didn't see what I just did, and it's not my idea, somebody else's idea, but a lot of people are doing it now. If you take a hot glue stick and you put a little hot glue on the end and you press it against the other hot glue stick, it'll pull it through. So I just showed you that a second ago and I thought it was a very, very clever idea. So the two sticks stick together and then it'll just pull it through so you don't have you know, to like it falls out, it rolls on the floor, you gotta pick it up, you know, you guys know all that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt, <laughs> especially if you have the small sticks, which I have a lot of the small ones. Anyway, um, I glued the little um, square pieces down, so that will t uh, have my bunny stand up, and then I glued the bunny on, and then the square in front, I probably didn't need the two square in front, but I already painted them, and I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna do it. Then the little bunny tail, I glued that on. And now I have this moss. Now it is a mixture of Spanish moss and then the other green moss. I mixed it together because I live in Michigan and that's what our grass looks like. Actually not even so green. <laughs> and we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm tomorrow, so. 
Um, today I'm filming this on Valentine's Day and tomorrow the 15th we're supposed to get a ton of snow and but today it's beautiful it's sunny out anyway I'm babbling <laughs> enough of that taking all my pieces here and I'm just kind of gluing them in the little mushrooms the carrots the eggs some flowers and I got it all together I'm like wow <laughs> This is a lot, <laughs> so um, I took some of that stuff out. I would probably either put just the mushrooms in there or the eggs or the carrots, but not all of this, or the mushrooms and flowers, but as you can see here, I just left the eggs in there. And I love this. It's a cute little shelf sitter, just something simple. And that is all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which one is your favorite one. And I will be back very, very soon with some more spring and or Easter DIYs. Have a great week. Bye.